Hello, all of my little baby bunnies, and welcome to an episode of Quick Lunch, where we're going to do a, a short first look let's play of Adrift, which is, based on my understanding, supposed to be a atmospheric, almost walking simulator, but not quite, a game where you just, you're in space. You're stuck there, and you need to find your way to however it is you can survive. So, this went on sale um, this past week for like half off, and I'd had my eye on it for a while. It seems to have very mixed reviews from people. Some people really loved it because they're more into the atmospheric uh, setup, um, and some people hated it because they thought it was boring. But, gosh. For one, it's beautiful. This looks gorgeous. Um, and listen to this music. It's so... It's really pretty. If this is what I have to expect, then I'm actually pretty excited. So, uh, I think it runs on Unreal Engine 4, um, which that doesn't surprise me based on how it looks. And I'm going to go ahead and start. So, hard a man. Hard a man. <laughs> Mankind Part above of an all else. DBA training simulation online. Instructor hand for administra series four version one point six. Trainee commander Oshima Alex. Mission Hardiman Aerospace North Star four. Mission active date twenty nine September twenty thirty five. To invert EBA control system, access options menu. Oh, I'm in zero gravity. Oh shit, okay. purpose is to create a solution for a natural, sustainable, and renewable source of oxygen that can be managed off-world, or on planets without a breathable atmosphere. The North Star program, now in its fourth iteration, is an entirely experimental effort that centers around extracting oxygen and carbon dioxide from terrestrial plant life in space, okay. and converting it to breathable oxygen, suitable for prolonged use by organic life forms. Three North Star stations have successfully completed their missions in service of the decade. Wow. Okay, so that was all mankind above all else. All right, so that was a lot of propaganda about what the company does with space uh, research and oxygen shit. And I'm guessing the training simulator was just teaching me how to do everything. So that was really confusing because, like, I had a guy talking in my ear, and then I also had to learn the controls. <laughs> Okay. July 8th, 2037. So that's a few years later, yeah? Survivor detected. Yeah. Survivor detected. Okay. Survivor detected. Survivor detected. So does gravity not work? I feel like I read that- Survivor located. Initializing EBA HUD display. Whoa. I feel like it said that I could- Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shit. Shit. Ah, oh, grab it. Oh, cool. I play as a chick. Warning. EVA suit critically damaged. Okay. Oxygen leak detected. Okay, let's go. Emergency life support system online. Okay, we need to get inside. Manual oxygen refill required. Alright, uh, oxygen. Is this oxygen? Can I use this? Do you have any oxygen in you? Yes. Okay, so I've got a leak. Oh, come on. Grab it. Shit. 
Uh, leak is reduced. Oh god. Okay. Um, is this... Where do I need to go? Hang on. Where am I? Alright, as much oxygen as I can handle. That's what I'm gonna go for. Oh! Stabilize! 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 Okay. Um, so that's where it busted. Through here is probably where I need to go. Come on. Ow. I'm actually quite frightened. Can I not do anything here? Ow. Okay, what do I need to look for? In here? Oxygen station damage. Damn it. So, it's here. Okay, got it. Or is it not? Is that where I came from? Something thing I could use over here. Initializing Hardeman Aerospace Identification Sequence. It feels like that's where I might have come from. Whoa. Okay. Data transfer in progress. Can't use that, it's empty. Initializing Hardeman Aerospace Identification Sequence. It's locked, okay. Data tra- Oh god, um... Shit, I'm losing my oxygen. Is there any more oxygen? This is really confusing. Do I need to go through here? Or is that where I came from? I am gonna lose as soon as I started. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay, all right, cool. Yay. <laughs> okay, let me retry that, because I'm not really sure <laughs> what to do. <sighs> okay, so that is where I came from. Initializing Hardeman Aerospace Identification Sequence. Data transfer in progress. Identification verified. Oshima, Alex. Commander, Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4. Vital signs, stable. Okay. So this is locked. How do I unlock it? So I can grab more of that. Ah. Can I use this? No? Is there anything in there I can use? No? Guess not. Uh, so the O2 is... oh, out here? I need to do that. Okay, so there's stuff over here I need to take a look at. I started moving too quickly, I guess. I gotta do space things. Aha! I see. There's another door over here. Okay, I... I know. Reserves are getting a bit low. Maybe if I can get in here I'll be okay. <sighs> Ooh! Oh, come on. Come on, stabilize. Stabilize. Fuck. Oh, man. 
Please let me in. <sighs> this is really disconcerting. EVA propulsion system damaged. Oxygen repurposed as shared life support and propulsion resource. Oh shit. Continual propulsion use incrementally depletes EVA oxygen reserves. No. That seems like an awful idea. Why would you have me do that, sir? Okay. I'm I'm really very um I'm really scared of space. Is that weird? Cuz I am. I'm quite disconcerted by space. Okay, let's grab you. Thank you. Alright, so that's all the oxygen I can use. Alright, that's pretty and everything, but god, I'm scared. I don't know, there's something about the hugeness of space and having to be in it. Okay, so I can get radio, but I don't know if I can radio back. My character certainly doesn't seem to want to try. Okay, so let's go through here. Oh lord. Hardiman Aerospace North Star 4. Catastrophic event detected. Origin point. Terminated. Wow. Huh. Huh. Okay. See, that's what I mean. Space. Space is very scary. Okay, I need to go over there. Got it. to go up in here? Probably. Oh, I hope there's some oxygen real quick. Oh, I see some. Please. Shit. Shit, it's right there. Come on, it's right there. Grab it. Grab it, grab. Oh. Okay, and there's more right there. Yay. Oh. Oh, that was frightening. Oh, everything about this is frightening. I don't like what I'm experiencing right now. Ah! Come on! Let me in. Jesus Christ. Okay. Whew. Alright, atmospheric I think is a good is a good description for this. And I mean, this is less a walking simulator and more of a floating simulator. Mission date. Eight July twenty thirty seven. Okay. Hardiman Aerospace North Star Four. No remaining survivors. Can I use oxygen here? Is this working? No. Shit! I'm running out of oxygen. Come on. Uh. Is this a door I can get in through? Yes, I think. Come on, dude. You are not giving me enough oxygen. Oh, that's gonna be the end of me if I can't grab this in the next couple seconds. Oh, there we go. Okay, so ma main complaint so far, the controls are really wobbly. They're super fucking wobbly and hard to figure out. Uh, I'm not necessarily on top of where exactly I need to go all the time. Um, I don't. I'm not given a lot of time to uh, really explore and look around and be like, Warning. "Oh, what's this?" External EVA visor critically damaged. EVA repair required. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I can do that soon. Um. For EVA repair station located. Oh, here. 
Will this do it? I don't see any, um... Yes? Okay. There we go. Alright, hopefully this will help with the leak and I won't die every two seconds. And for EVA repair sequence complete. Vital sign stable. Okay. Okay, good. It looks like that helps. Okay. Alright, what's over here? It's telling me to look over here. This is... So this is interesting. It's hard to control and it's a little stressful and confusing, but it's actually really interesting so far. Uh, okay. Does my oxygen go down while I do this? I review a spirit of uh, positively remain optimistic alternate proposal. Data supports your plan and increased blah. Opportunity to implement parts of this plan exist and frankly speaking are innovative. I believe it is imperative that you do not deviate from current objectives. Health of your crew, your station, our mission have all been negatively affected by delays and extended timelines. Bring us home, Commander. Um, instructed to schedule and conduct a full briefing for you and your staff. Included an alternate and aggressive spiritist production proposal. Maximum benefit. Review and, com review and comments. Okay. Settlement. Finalized. Upload. Initial success of colonization effort. Okay. Lunar colonization. So we're trying to colonize the moon. Okay. And my O2 did not go down while I was doing that. Oh. Whoops. Interesting. Whoop. Can you fucking... Alright. Stabilize, please. Stabilize. Can you stop moving, please? Whoa. Oh shit! Like, hitting stuff breaks? Oh. Oh, that's shitty. That sucks. Okay. So, like, bumping into stuff hurts your suit. Wow. Can I repair it again? Yes, you can. Okay. Funky. This is so strange. So yeah, a lot of this seems to be like figure out the wonky controls. And for EVA repair sequence complete. Vital sign stable. Make sure your oxygen doesn't deplete. And discover what happened. That seems to be the whole thing. So I'm gonna go in here, because that seems like the next place to go. Yes. Can I listen to this? Yes, I can. Let's grab it. Hut. Hand for personal data device version 4.7 acquired. Multiple personal data devices detected and online. Location coordinates oh. unknown. Okay. Alright. This might help. This looks a little more put together. Wow. Warning. Catastrophic event detected. Core systems repair required for emergency escape vehicle launch. Alright, I'm guessing that's my big objective then, is look for the core repair, or rather repair the core, um, so that I can actually get... Oh, come on, I thought I was supposed to... There we go. Damn. Activating Spiritus system terminal. So that I can actually get out. Yep, Spiritus core connection lost. Spiritus system damaged and offline. Initializing diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Mainframe offline. Huh. Cerebrum module inactive. Spiritus system repair required for Salvis EEV life support system operation. Okay. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum core. Repair cerebrum module. Okay. So, that's my laundry list of items that I have to do in order 
to repair everything so that I can get out. You know what? I can understand the complaints, I think. However, I don't agree with them. This is actually the kind of game that's right up my alley. Because you you can look around, you can explore, you can find out all of the things. And I'm super into that. That's really cool. So I am super down <laughs> with what's going on right now. I can't go through there. Okay. I've already looked at that. Oh, probably need to go through there then. Or is that where I came from? Oops, 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 oops. Come on, stabilize. Yeah, I feel like maybe I came from there. So I'd probably need to go through the other one. Let's grab some more oxygen. Why why don't we? Hut. Boop. Cool. I think this gives us a pretty good idea of what to expect for the rest of the game. Like, I've heard it's short. You can play it for a cup like an hour and a half and you'll be done. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm actually totally okay with that. This Oh no, that's where I came from. <laughs> uh, because this is just very narrative atmospheric story driven kind of game and I'm okay with that and I'm actually really interested in the like the zero gravity using your booster to guide you mechanics it's confusing to like figure out at first it's super confusing well no did I come from there or did I come from the other one fuck I don't know <laughs> all right damn it uh okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it because I'm like hurting my my girl <laughs> Um, and I think this is a good, like, introduction to what the game is going to be like. So, uh, zero gravity exploration. You find things, you, you make sure you have enough oxygen to survive, try not to bump into too many things, and, and, uh, you find out what happened and you repair the ship so that you can go home. That's, that's pretty much what it is. And I think that's pretty cool, if you ask me. I obviously can't give it a total review right now, but as far as I can tell, it's something I'd totally be into. Um, so, cool. This was a lot of fun to sort of get like a first look at this game. Because um, I've been wanting to play it for a while and it went on sale, so I bought it and everything went good and it was great. <sighs> so thanks everybody for watching. As always, it's much appreciated. And uh, make sure to check out my Facebook and my Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!